in this video we are going to look at uh, uh, a certain question on trigonometry where we need to apply the, the, the knowledge that we have of identities and this question says that we should express 12 cosine a plus 9 sine a in the form r cosine of a minus theta and we are told that r should be a positive integer and then our theta is actually between 0 and 90 degree um, now this what you need to know is that uh, in order for us to write this expression here in that form the first step is to rewrite that expression we have 12 cosine a plus 9 sine a equals to r cosine a minus theta that is the first step we want to write this in that form now what that means is that we need to find the value for theta and we also have to find the value for r those are the two that we need to find now how do we do it we rewrite that so we now write r cosine a minus theta equal to now remembering the identities we know when we have cosine a minus theta it means we are now going to have r cosine a and cosine theta because of that minus with cosine we should have plus then what we have this side is that r sine a sine theta now what you are now going to have is that we can now rewrite this like what we have there here we have cosine a we should have cosine a and then a number in front now in our case we write this r and then cosine theta cosine theta we put that in brackets and then we have cosine a plus r sine theta in brackets and then sine a now the reason why we are doing that is because i remember we are saying that this is equal to that then it means our sine a we have our sine a here therefore 9 is equal to this coefficient of sine a the same here our cosine a is what we have here then 12 is equal to our co our coefficient of cosine a now what you are going to have here what you are now going to do we now have to compare comparing coefficients comparing coefficients what you are now going to have is that we write 12 12 is equal to the coefficient of cosine a the coefficient of cosine a is r cosine theta while the other the other part we have 9 which is cos, uh, coefficient of sine a 
the coefficient of sine a here is r sine theta now what we need to do here we can now say that this is equation one while this is equation two But since we said we want to find the value of r and theta, it, it would be better if we can make r. Not r, but cosine theta, the subject of the formula. Then what we are going to have, it means we are going to divide both sides by r. Then we have cosine theta is equal to 12 over r. While here, our sine theta is going to be 9 over r. Now let's try to do or to plot that on, on, a, on a Gartesian plane. Now let's keep in mind of the range that we are given. That theta is between 0 and 9 and that is where a sine is also positive. Now, let's start with this. Considering our Cartesian plane, the theta being between 0 and 90, our 90 is somewhere here. Then we can now form a triangle here. Then here is our angle theta. Then it means, since we know, we can remember Sokatoa, So Katoa, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, this is opposite, considering this angle, our opposite is here. Then it means our adjacent is here. Then we have 12 over hypotenuse, which is R. Can we find that? Yes, we can. Now, how do we find it? at the moment let's leave it like that now what we can also do is that our sign our sign is opposite over hypotenuse our opposite is this one then we have 9 here over hypotenuse which is r so r is already there then we can now find r but because that is the hypotenuse we can now say r square we know is equal to these two sides squared then we have 12 squared plus 9 squared that is the hypotenuse this is from pythagoras theorem then our r it means you're now going to have square root and you're considering positive square root of that which is uh 144 plus 144 plus uh 144 plus uh, 81 is 225. 225. But we know that square root of that is 15. Maybe we will, maybe you are, we can confirm that square root of 225 is equal to 15. Now we have our r. Our r we now know. What is next is to find our theta. Now, how do we find our theta? Since we know that our r is 15, we can either use this one of these two equations to find r. But what I will want to use here, I can now use uh, the other method here. Uh, I can now divide equation 2 by 1. I'll say equation 2, I divide it by 1. Then what I'll have is that I'll now have um, let me not divide this two, let me divide these ones. These two. Let me divide this. Maybe in that case it's going to work. Okay, now let me just divide these two. Then dividing these two, I start with 
this equation here then I will have uh, let me start writing this side sine theta when you divide this r and r it will go away equals to 9 over cosine theta equals to 12 then that is the same as saying we know sine over theta is tangent theta equals to 9 over 12 but we know that 9 over 12 you can simplify that to have 3 over 4 then we can find our theta then our theta is going to be the inverse of tan and then 3 over 4 now here we can use our calculator then we are going to press inverse of tangent of 3 over 4 and we are getting that 6.869 we can round to one decimal place then we are going to have that 6.9 therefore our theta is equal to 36.9 degree I rounded that to one decimal place now what we can see here I said we were looking for r and theta now that we have found r and theta we can now come back and write that 12 the expression 12 cosine a plus 9 sine a is equal to we are now replacing the r the r we know it's 15 so we write 15 15 and then cosine open bracket the a we did not get the value for a we just write a and then our theta is this answer that we have here which is that 6.9 and then we can now close bracket and this is the final answer that is the final answer please if you have a question a uh, comment in the comments below and then i will see how i can help you out